Hello, and thanks for tuning into the STM32WB Getting Started series. My name is Colin Ramratton, MCU and MPU Product Marketing in the Americas region. Our FAE team has brought you these videos to help you develop and start with the STM32WB. All you need is an STM32WB nuclear board that I'm showing here, and you can jump into all the fun and start developing with the STM32WB for your application. Let's have a look at the seven key points that make the STM32WB a unique Bluetooth offering. The STM32WB supports multiple protocols. This means software and hardware support for Bluetooth LE and 802.15.4 protocols. We provide a certified Bluetooth LE 5.2 stack along with OpenThread and ZigBee 3.0 stacks. An additional offering includes 802.15.4 OpenMAC stack, which allows you complete flexibility when using the 802.15. portion of the radio. In the STM32WB ecosystem, we provide our professional grade Bluetooth mesh solution for your use. Dual core and full power. Inside the STM32WB, we have integrated our STM32L4 DNA with a Cortex M0 core and our own Bluetooth LE radio. All of the STM32WB devices have dual core capability, which allows us to have very low current consumption. We also have multiple low power run sleep modes and even a low power mode where we save Bluetooth contacts consuming 600 nanometers. At ST Microelectronics, we follow the ULP mark standard for low power comparisons. The STM32WB has a ULP mark of 303, which is one of the highest marks among the Bluetooth devices in the industry today, with very few devices achieving a score of over 300. In IoT protection, it's addressed by our STM32 Trust ecosystem. Addressing these needs, the STM32 Trust brings 12 security functions to align with customer use cases and security standards. The STM32 Trust brings the documentation, software, tools to cover these 12 security functions. All of these 12 security functions have been identified as a common criteria that all IoT devices require to effectively implement security in the industry today. When we look at savings, we integrate numerous peripherals, including communication IPs, analog hardware, digital hardware, and RF tuning inside the STM32WB. USB full speed 2.0 crystallist means that there's no need for a dedicated XO for the USB. In the RF portion, we integrate a balloon filter and provide XO tuning capacitors to help with XO variability across your design. Switch mode power supply integration allows us to drive down the power consumption and save as much battery power as possible. When we look at our offer, the STM32WB series is not just one, but six devices across three different part numbers, bringing the total offering to 44 different part numbers, including the module. In the tools, the STM32 Cube ecosystem means more than just code. It provides the basis of the framework for hardware and software solutions. When we look at the STM32 WB series, we have three different board offerings where the discovery kit includes the module, a small OLED screen, and cap touch functionality. In all of these hardware boards, an ST-Link programmer is included so you can program without purchasing additional hardware. In the software offering, we have the STM32 CubeMX2, which is our main configuration and production selection tool, STM32 Cube Monitor RF, which allows you to write text scripts and perform RF testing, STM32 Cube Programmer, which can be used to upgrade and install stacks, erase, and program the device, STM32 Cube ID, which is our free Eclipse-based environment that you can use to develop, configure, and download your code. In longevity, all STM32s have a 10-year commitment from ST Microelectronics. This commitment is renewed in every January of every calendar year. Now let's look at the STM32WP Getting Started series, which you already know because you're already here on YouTube. The main organization of the videos is basic videos at the start and then more advanced ones uh, at the end. Now, essentially, we also take uh, the videos in in chronological order, meaning, you know, the basic tools install, some of the basic examples, and then moving to the more advanced type of videos. Let's take a look at part five, just as an example, the Cube WB heart rate monitor. This video starts out with the FE showing you exactly what the end result is, meaning how the demo should look. As we can see here, the heart rate monitor is connected to 
the STM32WB from the phone. Then the FE is going to exactly what you need to do to modify the project and modify it for your needs. Now let's jump around a little bit and we'll look at the part seven, which is over the air update. This is something that pretty much everyone likes to have a look at when they're using a Bluetooth device because you, at some point you're gonna need to update your device. The FAEs go into different methods using a physical link. And in this case, again, we're gonna be looking at over the air update. We can see here that the FAEs have actually prepared the project and it starts flashing on the board. Now, in this case, to have this flash, it would take a little long if we wanted to show the whole thing flash. But what we've done here is we sped it up and we'll go to the end here to show you what it looks like. You can see here, it finishes and the upgrade is successful. Now, the next one I wanna show you is part 14. 14 is, is very, interesting to have a look at because this is actually connecting the STM32WB to an Alexa Zigbee hub, which is very good use case and one of the other functions of the STM32WB, which is Zigbee connections along with Bluetooth. Now this video is quite lengthy, so I skipped to the, the part where our FEs have actually done all the legwork and they've actually loaded the code onto the STM32WB. Now what they're doing here, is they're using the app on the iPhone to discover the device. Now, what we're doing here is we reset the board because it has to be in a known kind of state, which is at the start to, to be discoverable uh, in this project. You can see here, it finds it as a light switch. And from there, you can actually set it up and it's completely connected to the Amazon Alexa at this point. You can see here, it toggles the power on the LED, either on or off. The STM32WB series is at 14 parts right now, and there will be more coming in the next few months. Bluetooth Mesh is one of the more uh, elaborated ones, and we'll be adding that uh, to the list of the STM32WB Getting Started series. Now that you've learned the basics of the STM32WB series, check out these other resources, which will continue your learning journey. As you have already found this Getting Started series here, there are numerous other videos on YouTube you can find on the STM32 Microelectronics Video Library. On ST.com, there are multiple places to access learning content, including our massive open online courses, or MOOC for short, brings you hours of content with experts from the ST family. And that is the basics of the STM32WB and where you can go for additional content aside from the STM32WB Getting Started series. Now you're ready to explore the STM32WB with our FAE team in this Getting Started series videos. Thank you for your time and attention.